Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Okay, guess what? We're gonna get the revival of the end of the Halloween trilogy of Liz. Um, that's coming September 30th. I just kind of wanted to look over the event, talk about it a little bit, talk about the banner, talk about what kind of event this is. Um, not a lot of people know what I guess these events are in, in, in advance, so I kind of wanted to talk about them and... That's it. That's going to be today's video. So I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment about whatever thing I talk about here, and you can subscribe to me for some more Fate stuff. Okay, so this is the third is the event of the Mecha Liz, uh, not Mecha Liz, of the Elizabeth Bathory events. Um, this is a rerun. If you played the first one, you had the choice between either Mecha Ellie 1 or Mecha Ellie 2. If you picked Depending on which one you pick, when you play this one, you can pick the opposite, and they're considered two separate units. They have the exact same set of skills, um, the only difference is that they have their own bond and they have their own... They use the same materials for everything. I think they- no, they use different materials for Ascension, but in terms of skills, they use the exact same. So, uh, it's really which one do you like the look of. Their animations are different, I think, if I remember right. At least that part I know. Uh, and they're both single target alter egos. Um, pretty solid alter egos for single targets. Alter egos are effective against uh, riders, assassins, and casters, but they take double damage from. They deal less damage to archers, sabers, and lancers. Um, having an MP5 level 5 one really helps out if you're someone who's like starting out and they don't really have a lot of wide coverage of a lot of those. I know specifically for. If you don't have someone that can deal damage to assassins and casters, um, alter egos can help that a whole bunch. You know, dealing damage to casters actually is pretty easy because there's a bunch of like writers that deal a whole buttload of damage. Not a lot of casters and assassins that do that. There are more powerful assassins than there are casters. If you're trying to find an attack focused caster, it's a nightmare. But uh, I think they're pretty solid. Um, that, yeah, that's my hand statement on them. I like them. I personally like Ellie. I've never had a problem with Ellie. I feel a lot of Faith fans have weird feelings about Ellie. I just don't share them. Sorry. Um, so this is the banner for this event. It has Hime, or Oki. That's her nickname. I can't pronounce this name. I'm going to try Osaka Behimi. Osaka Behimi. I'm going to stick with Hime, Okay. This is, uh, she's a, um, a five star that's not limited, so there's really no reason to summon on this banner unless, unless you want this baby right here. Yeah, showing this off because I can't make a thumbnail with this art ever, but if I just kind of look at it for long enough, YouTube will be like, this is an important thing. This is very important. Everything about this is important. This is the redrop CE. He does the redrop does one for every Halloween, and they're always really fantastic. Um, it's not actually a very good CE. It's a uh, okay. It's an okay CE at best. I feel um, of the CEs, the best one is the free one, which I think is right here. Yeah, it's Aerial Drive. Uh, fantastic art, and but also it give when it's fully max on uh, max limit broken. It gives 10% buster, 10% NP damage, and starts with 50% NP gauge, which can be fantastic for someone who's free, free to play. Or someone like me, I still use it a whole bunch. Okay, so, um, Hime is a very weird unit. I don't really, not a lot of people talk about her, mainly because she's very hard to use. Um, and not in a way that's like, oh, does she deal a lot of damage? No. She doesn't really. She's really defense oriented. Um, excuse me, because I'm gonna sneeze. She's really defense oriented, but also her um, no phantasm gives thirty percent um, quick up for overcharge. Um, if you get the overcharge higher, the you'll get more um, boost to the damage. Um, and with this, she actually gets a yeah. I think in North America, get this is where she gets a interlude. No, it's a mm, this is an interlude or a strengthening. It's a strengthening for her noble phantasm that adds Buster to it, so she turns into a quick uh, quick support and a Buster support on her noble phantasm, uh, which is pretty solid. Uh, again, she's not like so good that. 
it's the kind of unit that make people go like oh my god i need to drop everything because she just completely breaks the meta she's not really one of those kind of units but she can have her place you know you have to be you have to make a lot you have to make a team that's really focused on what she wants to do and you have to also not care about three turning which there's a good percentage of people who don't care about three turning um so she can be fun. She can definitely have her fun and she can be useful. Um, she's just not the most. She's not the support unit that's like so crazy top tier support. She's just a very, very solid support once she gets all her uh, supports, that is. Um, at least that's my impression of her. I don't have her. She is not limited, so I could randomly pull her one day. Um, and maybe when that happens, I'll have more opinions on her. Right now, the only person I know that uses her a whole bunch is my friend Lerp. Um... And he's always kind of defended her to me whenever I've been like, doesn't she suck? And he goes like, well, listen, no, she doesn't suck. Let me tell you why. Um, and so I, I kind of believe him. He's played enough of this game. He's he, he was there on pretty close to launch of the game when it launched in Japan. Uh, let's look at the other units on this banner. We have Elizabeth Bathory, who is good to okay depending on who you ask i think she's pretty solid for an aoe lancer unit um specifically for females only uh carmilla can be a pretty good single target assassin if you don't have any of the better assassins she can really be helpful if you're starting out for sure the assassin is shinjuku um he sucks it's really unfortunate i think he's had multiple buffs let me see there's his name, his name is damn it kwan kwan king no go away video so yeah he kind of has like a critical star absorption increased NP generation increases like yeah this buff kind of helps him out a little bit increases on a quick uh, performance increases critical damage increases crit star generation reduces on critical star absorption for 100 by 100 percent for one turn gain critical stars um he deals damage to one enemy the problem is is that because of his class and his noble phantasm type he actually has a very hard time doing anything um so he can be very very hard to use if you're a fan of him you can tell me how you feel about him but i think it's safe to say that even fans of him would agree that he needs more buffs it's not that i think he's a shitty character because he's perfectly fine from what i remember of him he's kind of forgettable but that's kind of his you know his purpose to say so much about him uh, but he definitely still needs buffs to like his noble phantasm his skills they just need to be better they honestly just need to be better this is perfectly fine they just need to be better this was what it was at launch which is just increased crit star generation for three turns which is not good especially because it's only like what 29 percent is it still 29 percent no that changes to 30 29 percent is a stupid low amount um I mean, 30% is only 1% better, but still. We have Wu here. Wu is a perfectly good quick supporter. If you have someone like Scotty or you want to use someone with Scotty, if you don't have a Scotty, Wu is a perfectly good backup, I would say. Because um, let me see here. Uh, is it right here? Oh, no. It, yeah, increases party quick performance except herself for three turns. It's 20% quick, you know. Not the best, but not the worst. It does help out that she gives also party attack, which is 20%, so 20%. So it was 40%, basically. Um, and this kind of helps with defense lowering, too. It does get better. Again, I think she's perfectly solid. I also, I think our Noble Phantasm gives just like a buttload of crit stars, if I remember right. Rank B increases on crit star damage for three turns. No, she poisons. That's what she does. She can end up dealing a lot of damage. She deals more damage than you think she would do. Jesus, 1,600%. That's, uh... Yeah, that's, uh... That's a, uh if it was anything but quick, she would be kind of nuts. Nuts broken. Now, she's also single target, too, so... Right? Just to be sure. It's an anti-unit. Usually anti-damage to one enemy. Yes, okay. Um... Berserker of Eldorado, aka Penth. Uh, perfectly good. She's, I believe, an AoE um berserker so she had no she's a single target okay i thought she was aoe increases party attack for three turns increases cell defense charges on mp gauge every turn for three turns mm. again i think she's not uh you know she's pretty good oh and she also deals damage to mythological males that was the thing that was about her so wow 100 percent 
for three turns. Again, if you're specifically fighting anyone from Greek and his male, there's a lot of them. She will be very helpful for that. Um, she also gets later on an Amazonist unifer- uniform, which is very good. I like her. I like the look of her. I haven't been able to use her very much just because I don't really have a lot of pur- uh, purpose. A lot of use for single target berserkers. Not anymore, at least. So yeah, that's the banner. Um, and then it has these three CEs, which are all great art-wise, not fantastic in CE-wise. At least I don't think so. Um... Yeah, this is a very easy to skip banner. The only real reason to pull on it is one, you're a big fan of Hime, and you want to get her on a raid up. Basically, if you're a fan of any of these servants, this is a great banner for you. Um, but if you're just Joe Schmo, like, hey, should I summon on this? The answer is really no. You really shouldn't. Um, the next one might be a little bit better for you, uh, depending on some stuff. Um, yeah, so. Now when I'm done with that, that's kind of how I feel about the banner. What kind of event is this? It's a mission style event. Uh, and since it's a rerun, it should actually be pretty decently fast pace. So this isn't actually a good place that you can get some tickets. Let me see, one, two, three, where's the third one? There should be at least five tickets here. Where are the tickets? Come on, don't make me look like a jerk. There you go, three. Oh man, do I need to sneeze again? I could have sworn it was five tickets. Well, I'm moving. Okay. Man, I don't know why I'm so sneezy today. Maybe catching a cold. Um. So yeah, it's a mission style event. It's not too hard. Just follow it. It shouldn't be too bad, because it's a rerun. Um, and for the event itself, I actually really like it. It's the end of a trilogy, so if this is your first one, it's not really going to make much sense. But it's fine. It's 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 just good Halloween fun, basically. Um, it is also kind of weird that this one is kind of very so skippable. Just kind of because it's kind of like, oh, you have really great CE arts, and then... Your units are okay to good. They're so specific about who wants them. It's one of those like banners where it's like I can never see myself pulling on this, but if I love this character, I would love to have this last opportunity to pull them on a featured right up, basically. Um, yeah, and that's kind of the that's kind of the event in a nutshell. At least looking through this stuff. Oh, you know, I should show the event shop. This is what you can get in the event shop. You can get wine. You can get claws. Uh, I forget how to pronounce these. The magatamas. Um, what is it? Spirit roots. Wild horse. The longo. And a lantern. The gummy drill can give you some horseshoes. War horse horn and chains which is pretty good and this is of course the reactor of course you can choose between one of them if you've done this before you should know to pick the other one if you're this is your first time and you're picking one of them they're the exact same units it's only which one do you care more about um mecha ellie one has a personality mecha ellie two doesn't but she's a cool looking robot so remember that when you're picking people um yeah that's basically it that's this event um I look forward to no longer grinding for Lotto until at least Samba time, where I will continue grinding a Lotto, but for now, yeah, that's the event coming up. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, you can leave a like, comment about any of these servants I talked about. If you want to talk to me about Hime, if you're a big fan of Hime and you use her a whole bunch, tell me about it. I would love to hear some more about it from anyone besides Lorp, because I can't tell if Lorp just really loves Hime. It's, it can sometimes feel like that, is that he just really loves Hime, so he's going to gladly defend her, and I believe him. But if you are also a fan of Hime, what does she need? Uh, stuff like that. Tell me about it. Um, and of course, you can start to me for more Fate stuff. Uh, and, uh, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys have a good night. Peace out. Bye.